offer my most humble pronouns at the lotus feet of our divine Swami, respected elders, brothers, and sisters, Jay Sairam. Today, we are, we are gathered to celebrate the festival of Vaishaki, to quote our beloved Bhagavan about Sikhism. Surrender does not mean offering your body to God. Real surrender is the chanting of the divine name and making it the basis of your life. It's for the same reason that Guru Nanak, the first Guru of the Sikhs, started community singing. He told his followers that they should seek fulfillment in their life by chanting the divine name. Therefore, all Sikhs give the highest priority to the chanting of the divine name in their life. In the golden temple at Amritsar, the holy place of the Sikhs, the divine name is chanted constantly. Therefore, consider the chanting of the name of God to be the most important spiritual practice. It is easy to see the parallels between the Sikh teachings and Bhagavan's ideology about Namasmatana, the repetition of the divine name by devotees. On Vaishaki, Guru Gobind Singh asked for his devotees to surrender to God and thereby initiated the Khalsa, an organization of devout Sikhs. Today, we will be celebrating the Sikh festival with a musical offering, a performance of the Sai Bhajan Guru Medi Puja and a Balvika speech. The Bhajan Guru Medi Puja begins with the Mool Mantar, which we all know here as the Sikhism prayer. Here is a translation of this mantra. Ek Onkar, there is only one God. Satanam, his name is true. Karta Purak, he is the creator. Nirbo, he has no fear. Nirved, he has no hate. Akal Murat, Ajuni Sebang, he is omnipresent, unborn, and self illuminating. Gur Prasad, by the Guru's grace, he is realized. Jap, meditate on his name. Adisach Chugadisach. He's been true since time began. He's been true since the ages. Hebisach. He is still true. Nanakahosi Bisach. Guru Nanak says he will forever be true. Thank you. Ekonkar Satnam Karta Purak Nirbha Nirve Akal Murat Arjuni Sebhan Guru Prasad Jap आद सच जुगाद सच है भी सच नानक हो सी भी सच गुरु मेरी पूजा गुरु
students of Balvikas Group 3 would like to tell you a few fun facts about Vaishaki. So Vaishaki falls on the first day of the month of Vaishak on the Sikh calendar. And whilst many consider it to be a harvest festival, there is a deeper meaning to Vaishaki. This was the day in 1699 in which the Khalsa was created by Guru Gobind Singh. It was a time of mass gathering for Sikh communities to partake in meditation, service, and celebration. The 10th Guru of Sikhism asked the congregation that year, is there any man who is willing to die for their religion? He asked such a person to step to the front of the congregation. Soon, five men reached the front of the congregation, and these were ushered into the tent by the Guru. A large period passed, and the crowd became worried by the silence. Then, the five men 
who are now known as the Five Beloved Ones, or Panj Pyare in Sikhism, who are now wearing turbans, were baptized into the new organization known as the Khalsa. The Khalsa was an organization which Guru Gobind Singh created as a humanitarian force to uphold the rights of the poor, unfortunate, and weak against the ruthless authoritarian ruler at the time. The people within the Khalsa are meant to be faithful, devoted to God, humble, loving, and selfless. Some of these very qualities that Swami asked us and his devotees to propagate. The five men chosen to represent the purity of the Khalsa as an organization and the Sikh values of the leadership of the collective. Hence, on a deeper level, Vaisakhi can be seen to have marked the blossoming of the values encouraged by the Sikh gurus in a wide collective of society. It is also on this day that Sikhism became the religion that we know of as it is today. And many of the characteristics we tend to associate with Sikhism were ascribed to the religion, such as having unshorn hair, the wearing of the turban, which are all meant to make it easy to distinguish a member of the Khalsa from those around them. Most notably, the duties of the Khalsa are not only to protect those of a particular religion, but to protect, protect people of all ethnicities, religions, classes, and other denominations of society. They strive to ensure the freedom and access to food of the population of the world and have done so since the 18th century. This is much like some of the teachings of our dearest Swami, who has carried out many humanitarian projects, including water projects, Narayana Seva, the feeding of the food to those in poverty. As such, the values and aims of the Khalsa are something that we all, as Sai devotees, should aspire to. The values of the Khalsa are born through the complete sur surrender of the ego and the understanding that man is m merely the instrument for God. Complete trust in God and benevolent action are all duties which the Khalsa agrees to take on. Another similarity to the Sai organisation, members of the Khalsa try their best to work self selflessly and become completely selfless. Instead, becoming a part of the Khalsa requires thoughts about a greater cause, the best for humanity and the world to progress into a better future for everyone. A better way to understand the Khalsa may be through the analogy of a lighthouse. A lighthouse helps ships reach the shore safely when it is dark by exuding light to its surroundings. The lighthouse, which acts as a guide to the ships, is a representation of the Khalsa, and the ship, ships in this analogy are other Sikhs and people alike. The people in the Khalsa are meant to shine as examples of who, of who a person should try to become spiritually and idealistically. And just like a lighthouse helps ships reach the shore, the Khalsa sh should help people acting as a beacon upon which society can lean on. The attire of Sikhs, including the turban, was created for this purpose, to make sure that those in wider society can recognize them and that they are able to stand out in the darkness and bleak times, much like those which lead to the creation of the Khalsa originally. In fact, singing a Nagar Sankirtan at this time in Sikhism all based on the ideas of selflessness. Just as a moth sacrifices itself to unite with the light of a flame, Sikhs completely sacrifice themselves into the devotional singing of the congregation. The Khalsa is meant to portray the love of the words of hymns and devotional songs, and the Khalsa acts as stewards of this love, showing this love to everyone they meet, whether it be via thought, sweet speech, or loving and helpful, helpful actions. Sikhs are encouraged to completely fall in love with God and become selfless through abandoning vices and not chasing after the vices which their minds encourage them to do. While Sikhs strive to externally become warrior-like internally, they should achieve spiritual enlightenment. Vaisakya represents the liberation of a person from their vices and hence it is this goal which Sikhs attempt to attain through their devotion. Guru Gobind Singh once said, one who knows the taste of God within them is the true Khalsa. This is very similar to Swami's ideology about introspection and turning the senses inward so that we too can learn and discover our real identity, God. Thank you for listening. We hope that you all have learned something new about Sikhism today.